Hey guys, it's Sean here and I'm going to do something with these bases here and show you how I'd go about it. Now I've already painted one sprue up and they're looking pretty good to me. Um, that was pretty much my test run. You get a lot of detail with some really simple techniques. Alright, so obviously using Citadel paints I'm going to start off with dry brushing with Dawnstone. Now hopefully you know how to dry brush, if not, basically you have the least amount of paint possible on your brush. I may have gone a little bit overboard with that first one, but that is okay. So basically you're giving them all a rough swirl around with your Dawnstone. I think my paint may have gone off. This is quite thick and gluggy. That's alright. You can use any colour you like, obviously. I'm just trying to stick with the whole city thing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, because this is actually quite, quite fun. Um, I've been painting miniatures since I was 16, 15, 16, I'm now 27, <laughs> so hopefully I have a few years of experience to share. Actually no longer, because I was an intermediate when I first started with Lord of the Rings which came out in like 2001, 2002. Anyway, I'll let you guys do the maths on that one. Either way, I've been doing it for a while. Alright, so we've dry brushed them all. In the interest of time, I'm just going to switch to a different brush. And we're going to go with Balthazar Gold. Which is more of a copper colour, funnily enough. Now you don't have to be perfect at all with these. You could spend hours painting them, or you can spend a few minutes on these, have them look really good, and then move on to something else. It's pretty much you're covering any of the metal looking parts. Now you've already seen the end result, so if you've got any questions do leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you want to follow up let me know. And let's turn this into a little bit of a vlog as well. So I've been on YouTube for two years and you know, we're slowly getting there. I think part of the reason why I don't have as many subscribers as some people is my varied content. That and I'm probably not the best at selecting tags for my videos. But hey, one day one of these will take off. So I'd love to do this as a job, but at the moment it's just me hanging out with you and we're having some fun and hopefully you're learning something. And 
And while we're keeping this vloggy, it's October. It's the 15th, it's a Saturday. Um, last year, at 3.34, uh, my nana, we lost her. Um, that was a very, very traumatic experience in the past year has been a challenge. But, I'm always up for a challenge. Now bear with me while I try and find the next paint. I'm needing um, lead belcher, I believe. You know, I'm really bad at pronouncing these things. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that guy. Lead, lead, lead belcher. This is basically like a dark silvery colour. And then we're going back on the metal areas with this. Now of course it all comes down to personal preference, how you want them to look. Part of the reason I bought this base pack is um, when Dark Vengeance came out, I bought that to start a Dark Angels army. And then of course Games Workshop went to 32mm bases. So my current Dark Angels army, the base size, just, just looks wrong. So I kind of wanted to do something special. So that's why I grabbed these. Now, they're already looking pretty good, but you'll notice there's some like rubble and some bone. And we're going to use the shabbity bone, which I have probably said wrong. But that's okay, because you saw the paint pot. We will just try and give it a light, light dusting on. Now a brown of some description may have worked better here. But once again, personal preference, you know this may be sand. used in construction, I'd, white sand, yeah sure, um, could be any number of materials, but very soon you'll see that it's not going to look too bad. So in the box that these came in you get three of these sprues, and there's, some, there's 15 There's 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there's 15, sorry, I can't count. Yet you guys know what kind of day it is. Now technically, by going colour to colour using dry brush, you can actually get through the whole thing in the time it takes it to dry. Uh, this method would also be called batch painting, which is a favourite of mine. Yeah, you go colour by colour. Now that Imperial Eagle is not very predominant at the moment, but that's that's alright, man. Obviously the city's ruined anyway, why would you worry about it? Uh, 
Uh, as far as brushes go, I use a mix of Citadel brushes, but not hugely because they're quite expensive and I'd rather spend the money on new miniatures. But I, I did discover some nice artist brushes in the hardware store. And it was like $7 and it was back of 5 and that was great. Um, it's like these ones. You know, they're, they're doing okay. They're, they've been good for dry brushing. They've been really good for washes. Speaking of washes, that's what we're going to do now with Serif and Sepa. Now, I grabbed the uh, large bottle of this because I use it on pretty much anything. See how the Yashabiti bone just darkens up? And how not being absolutely perfect over here didn't matter. If I spent a long, longer time doing this, I could probably achieve a far more precise look. But then you don't want to sit here and watch me do this for hours and hours. Basically, it's just going to be to a standard that I'm happy with. And that I hope you guys are too. There's a couple of little more details that will need to be dealt with. Now the sepia wash here does add to the whole rusted look. Now the one thing I can't really show you until the wash is dry is the potential dry brushing over like the raised details like these eagles and stuff. But I feel like I've kind of got around that by already showing you once that I've already finished. So what I'll do, is I'll just finish this up, hope, hope you're still watching, if not I'm talking to myself. Right, so now these are to a standard that I'm happy with already, you know, details are popping, they're quite dull, they're post-apocalyptic, I like this one. You know, they look good for what they are and the tiny, tiny amount of time I've spent on them. Now, obviously, the longer you spend painting, the better it gets. But then these are, in fact, just bases. Now... Lead Bletcher or whatever this guy's called is quite dark anyway. But because you've done a sepia wash, it should look a little bit brighter and you still kind of want to keep it dark. So we're just going to touch up some details. So, 
you know, the wash is still predominant. I must admit that the, as soon as I learned how to dry brush, it became my favorite technique. I use it on everything I paint. So now we're just picking up details. Back to that one. See, just like that. Completed product. And however long that took. Uh, taking into account drying time, that sort of thing. Easy to do. Just glue your model straight on top. You're good to go. I do, do hope you liked that. Um, if you painted yours slightly different, let me know. Um, it's always nice to get feedback. So... Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. I um, hope you like this, it's something different. We'll do it again, hopefully, if you're interested. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, that sort of thing. And I do appreciate your time.